All right, we're at the RDB 250. Now the 250 allows you really to get into a production setting. It's twice the speed of the 175. And I thought the 175 was pretty fast because it was twice the speed of the 150. Now you've got a really easy keypad to use here. You can set your angles. There are six different speeds you can set because it's got a gear driven motor. It's not hydraulic the way most of them have been. And uh, you can hold 175 jobs, no matter whether it's grandma's porch or whether you're building a uh, Bonneville car or whether you're doing a, uh, a Baja 1000 trophy truck. One of the things I like about it too, and even though you get all this accuracy, you get a lot of power and it allows you to have such a small footprint for such a powerful machine. Now in your control panel, you look at it, you can do up to 175 different jobs and if you come out of this, we'll go into manual bin, and you can set your angle, set your spring back, which we've got at 10, and then this is your speed, which we're gonna set at six speed, full blast. We're not starting at one or two. Six speed, shift it in. So, um, it's got an electric motor in it. It's not hydraulic, and what that's gonna allow us to do is use an index table on the front, whereas on a hydraulic type, if you notice that the bar was moving, this bar will stay still, the electric motor will pull it around nice and accurately and fast. And uh, it's got the normal quick change. We're doing square. Square is more difficult because it has a flat surface on either side and there's a lot of shrinking that has to happen to come around. So we've locked it in here. It's gonna keep our distance good and accurate on the side. And we've also got kind of something special that Bailey does in that they make this die in two pieces. And the two piece will allow the, uh, the square tube to come out easier. I think at that point, we're ready to hit the throttle and don't blink because this sucker's on six speed. Look at that. Wow, look how fast that was. I'm gonna let it cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back. And mainly this is to get it out of the way as much as anything else. Loosen the end. So we'll get rid of this plate. It's got a slot, so that's pretty easy to come out of your way. Just pull it off. And then, this is where that two-piece die really comes in handy. Get these out of the way. You can imagine the force it would take if you didn't have those. Get those out of your way. Dislodge it, and wham. Now about you. That is a tough one to bend. I've seen a lot of square tube, and a lot of times they got big ripples along the side. That's nice and smooth. That's a really cool tool.